I really appreciate all your hard work. It appears that my impression about you was right. I knew that you would come through and bring closure after to this incident. Yeah, but the army took off with all the glory. So I don't know if you could exactly say that we solved the case. No, that's not true. If you hadn't been there, I don't know that the army's raid would have been successful. Backed into a corner as they were, the Sky Bandits may very well have harmed the hostages. Agreed. Everything worked out because you infiltrated the hideout and took them out ahead of time. You should be proud of what you've done. It's true that the hostages were freed and the Sky Bandits arrested. I mean, we achieved our goals, most of them, so... It's a bit vexing to know that there are still some unanswered questions, though. Hmm. I think we should consider that there are a lot. There's a lot behind this incident that we don't know about. With all the culprits being detained, there's really not much left we can do. Anyway, we should just be glad that all the hostages came back safe. Thanks to the news about the arrest of the Sky Bandits, things are returning to normal in town. As a token of my thanks, I've added a bit of a bonus to your reward. <laughs> of course I am. I'd like to thank you too, Olivier. Yes, in fact, there was change to spare. I'm hoping all you all have a wonderful day. And if anything else comes up, I'd greatly appreciate your help again in the future. Good day. Wow! Nice that someone appreciates us. I'm sure that if that the incident had gone on any longer, it would have caused much more confusion. It's probably only natural that the mayor is as happy as she is. I now I'm starting to feel giddy inside. I don't think a bracer could be any more happy than knowing her at court helped out a bunch of other people. Honestly, the two of you really surprise me all the time. At any rate, please accept your assessment and pay for clearing up this incident. Eight thousand Mira and ten BP. Oh, we got a re recommendation letter. Of course, it would be downright rude of me to not recommend you after resolving such a big incident. Please accept it. We'll work hard so that we don't bring any embarrassment to this recommendation. Probably right. I wonder what on earth Cassius would be doing right now. Not contacting the guild is one thing, but not talking to his family either is a completely different matter. After he suddenly disembarked from the airliner in Bose, I wonder where he could have gone. Excuse me, please. Aren't you the receptionist from the landing port? What's the matter? You see, we recovered some of the cargo stolen by the Sky Bandits. Among some of the pieces were a number of parcels addressed to the Bracer Guild. So I'm here to deliver one of them today. This is actually addressed to the Roland branch. But aren't Cassius Bright's family members here? Oh, perfect! We contacted Roland Branch and they said you had come here. Here you are! This is the parcel. Hmm. I guess so. Well, that's... that's actually kind of reassuring. The mail got lost due to, uh, unforeseen difficulties. <laughs> 
Also, it's perhaps silly to say, but I'm relieved that he clearly did not know the airship was going to be hijacked. Well, that's good to hear. So that parcel is from your dad. No, this one? It looks like this one was sent to my dad by someone else. Oh, and one other thing. Good job helping arrest those Sky Bandits. You braces sure did a great job. There's someone who's... <laughs> uh, okay. And to think that a clue about your father would be mixed in with the cargo. Feel free to use the lounge upstairs to read his letter if you'd like. I don't know that it's really your business, uh... Olivia, but you know what? Sure. I like you. <laughs> Why did your father disembark the airliner prior to his departure? Were I forced to wait around for an answer? The question would stick in my mind, so I'd never be able to sleep at night. Oh, how heartless and cruel you can be. You be to a companion who has traveled alongside you. And just who is it you have to thank for being able to infiltrate the Skybanks hideout, I wonder? Hmm. Dear Estelle and Joshua, I'm sure you're probably about finished with the jobs I left for you, right? I'm also sure there are many things you'll have trouble with in the beginning, but take each one step at a time. I know you both can succeed. Anyway, it turns out that I've had a little trouble with my own work, and unfortunately, it looks like I won't be able to make it home for quite some time. Please do not expect my return until after the Queen's birthday celebration. I'm really sorry that things turned out like they did. But you should be grown up enough not to be lonely while I'm away. So until I get back, I leave it up to the both of you to decide how you want to live. You're free to continue working in Roland, or you're free to preserve quality, uh, qualifying as a senior bracer. Your 16th year is a vintage time in your life, so make sure not to waste it. Please give my regards to Sherazard and Ina. Cassius Bright. That's kind of that's sweet. Hmm. Forget about that, and let's focus on what's in that package. With an unknown sender, there's bound to be something interesting. Open it! Open it! Open it! It was a package delivered by an unknown sender about the time your father disappeared. The two might be related, you know? Open it! Hmm. Inside was a shiny black hemisphere. That's interesting. It's an orbit, I think, of some kind, but... Also enclosed was a single memo. It's an orbit, although I'm not sure what it's used for. Let's see what the memo says. I was able to secure the item aforesaid group was carrying, so please take care of it. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis of it when you find an opportunity. K. Hmm. If this is the only thing we have to go on, then honestly, I'm not ready. I'm about ready to throw in the towel. What the heck is this thing anyway? 
from the shape alone, it doesn't look like anything intended for general use. Although it feels a little similar to a battle equipment. Even so, it's still quite different. A normal ornament has slots in which to install quartz. This one has none. Maybe this is an artifact. Precisely, an artifact is an ornament created by an ancient civilization. Artifacts are the models for all ornaments produced today. They're still occasionally discovered in ruins, and for the most part, the Septian Church has custody over them. They're a type of antique, so to speak. But this one doesn't appear to be that old. It looks to me like it was made recently. However, this one almost seems like a black market item. Now look at what's happened because of my good-for-nothing dad! Doesn't he know we're all worried about him? Hmm. You know, Estelle, I've been thinking. How about we continue our journey? That's why da what Dad wrote in his letter, right? He said, or you're free to pursue qualifying as a senior bracer. We've already managed to get recommendations from Roland and Bose, right? All that's left are Ruin, Zeus, and Gransel. Only those three. If we do jobs as we travel around to those other regions, we just might hear something about where Dad is, or what he's doing. I think we're just worrying ourselves for nothing, considering Dad's skills. And there's also the possibility that he might be, even be traveling abroad. But I think getting off our own dust is a lot better than sitting around and waiting. We just might be able to find this Professor R, too. You're a genius! <laughs> This is like killing two birds with one stone! Maybe even ten! Birds! Sometimes I hate you for being so smart. Oh, is it ever? Yes, yes, yes! Training to be a senior bracer as we travel around Liberal. And exposing that no good middle-aged man has been doing in the progress. Process. Uh... <laughs> I guess Shara? Yeah, she's heading back to Roland. I'm still a little worried about you two. Are you sure you don't want me to come along? Give it a rest, Shara. We'll be fine. The whole reason we're going on this trip is because it's to become senior bracers. It wouldn't be training anymore if you came with us. And if you don't go back, the Roland branch would have a hard time managing things. Don't worry about us. We'll figure out a way to get things done. You got it, Shara. <laughs> All right, I'll watch the number. I don't believe her, uh, but it's a nice, it's a nice sentiment. <laughs> you're you're going. Why are you going to Roland? Oh, that's because I've tasted all the recent taste of the local dishes here in Bosac. I was really hoping Olivia would come with us, to be honest, but I guess not. And I thought it was about time I turned my attention towards another region. As for Roland's cuisine, I've heard the produce is just to die for. So that's what I'm looking forward to next. That's pretty much it. He says he wants me to introduce him to a nice restaurant and some lovely vegetables or some such nonsense. Since he's so persistent, I only agreed to come for him to come along on the condition that he's go going to be drinking with me. <laughs> I could die for the likes of fine women and food. 
Part of me longs to be by your side as you continue your journey, Joshua. But after many agonizing hours of consideration, I've decided to accompany Fair Sherazard instead. Indeed. And here's another piece of advice. When Cher is at the bar, watch out. <laughs> I am seriously not joking when I say you should be aware. How dare you speak about your mentor like that, Estelle. And besides, I'm just coming along too. Yeah, and she's even worse than you! Is that, perchance, what you and Estelle were talking about before? Yes. Estelle said it best, though. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> ah! Well, Ollie boy, it looks like it's time for us to leave. Come on now, we'd better hurry and get on. Shara, wait! Can't we talk this over? I'd really appreciate it if I had a little more time to think this through. If you consider yourself a man, then quit acting like a mini. Have a wonderful trip. Ah, uh, that was brilliant. <laughs> We did it! Chapter 1 end! And on that note, uh, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna cut off the episode right here. Thanks for joining me. Bye! The stream is gonna be going in another couple of minutes. Uh... Oh, yeah. No, I... Oh, hey, achievement get. Also, I forgot I could save on this stream. And screen. Yeah, I'm literally just saving. And, uh, yeah, no. We're done. We're cutting it off right here. So, uh, thanks for joining me. And, uh, tune in next time for chapter three, two, I guess? Maybe not. Honestly, we, we still have some stuff to wrap up in Bose, I think. If it lets me. It, hopefully it will. Uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, until next time, this has been Chaos Blue with Trails in the Sky. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night or morning. Uh, you, 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 you know how the rest goes. Bye.